going guys, it's K Cars, and today we're going to be talking about if the Dodge Challenger is a good daily driver or not. Alright guys, so before we actually get started with this video, I just wanted to take some time to apologize for how dirty this thing actually is. I promise I'm going to clean it as soon as I get the chance. But that actually brings me to the topic of today's video, which is, can you daily drive a Dodge Challenger Scat Pack? If you guys have been watching my past videos, you know that I've been a little bit bipolar with this car. Um, at first I was saying that it wouldn't make a daily driver because, you know, it's a boat, it weighs so much, it only has two doors, so it wouldn't really make a daily driver. I also talked about like the stiffness of the suspension and everything like that. But I've been daily driving this car for the past few weeks, I'd say maybe the past month. And it's been awesome. I've been having so much fun just daily driving this thing. Um, the one big downside that I would say is, I know you guys are probably thinking fuel economy, but it's actually not that. Um, it's actually something really simple it's only the fact that it gets dirty really quickly and as soon as you wash it it gets dirty if you're daily driving it um, especially if you're driving in the rain so it is really difficult to keep this car clean as you guys saw in the beginning of this video it's embarrassingly dirty and um i definitely need to wash this thing really soon which i'm definitely going to be doing because like i said it is pretty embarrassing driving around in a dodge challenger scat pack having it be this dirty um it has like bird poop and pollen all over it and let me actually go outside and show you guys um where most of the dirt gets collected okay sorry if there's wind noise but a while back if you guys remember i did install these side skirts from zl1 add-ons and what happens with these whenever it rains um all the water obviously drains down and gets collected on those side skirts and it doesn't actually like drain so as you see all this dirt right here and mud it just gets collected on the side skirts until you wash it so that's one downside about these side skirts they look really good when they're clean but when it rains they're the first things to get dirty and they probably get the most dirty out of any other part on this car and also they do collect dirt obviously so it will cause rust a little faster because they are um, uh, pinched onto the pinch welds down here and that's usually where rust starts happening first. Now the passenger side probably seemed pretty bad, but the driver's side is even worse. This is actually really embarrassing. You can literally see like the dirt is just piled up on these things. And I need to wash this thing so bad, but yeah. You can just see, this isn't even like from the rainwater falling onto it. A lot of this dirt that you guys are seeing right here is actually from like dirt on the floor because whenever I park this thing and it rains, all that water hits the dirt and splashes up onto the side skirts and it just stays there. It doesn't like drain or anything. So along with the rainwater falling onto that, dirt being splashed up from the ground when it rains also plays a huge part in these side skirts getting really dirty. So in my opinion, that is the biggest downside of daily driving this car. And I know a lot of people would probably think the fuel economy is the biggest downside of daily driving a 392 V8, you know, 6.4 liter muscle car but I don't really think it's that bad like 
if you're getting a Dodge Challenger Scat Pack, you're probably not going to care about the fuel economy anyway. So even if it was terrible, it wouldn't matter, I guess, if that makes sense. To be honest, the fuel economy in this thing really isn't that bad at all for what it is. And I will be honest, I do drive like a grandma most of the time, like in the city. It doesn't really take up as much fuel as it would if I were driving crazy or like trying to beat my best zero to 60 at every uh, green light. I guess if you are daily driving a Dodge Challenger scat back and you care about the fuel economy, just drive like a grandma and that's all you gotta do. And I think I filled this thing up about two weeks ago. I daily drive it, you know, five days a week. Uh, I'd say maybe 20 miles a day, which really isn't too bad. And I'm still over like three quarters of a tank of gas left in two weeks daily driving this thing so just that right there tells you tells you that you really don't have to put gas into this thing that much if you're daily driving it um, like 20 miles a day if you're only using this as a commuter car it really doesn't take that much gas it's amazing on the highway it has really good brakes really good acceleration really good turning even though it is a boat uh, we all know it doesn't handle turns the best but I mean it's it's good for what it is you don't need to be doing like autocross driving if you're just daily driving like that's you're, you're not going to need that for daily driving but for daily driving purposes the handling of this car is amazing if you're going on one of those circular on ramps and you're like trying to get on a highway or something you can take those pretty quick and you know still have fun on your daily commute and then you know whenever you uh go under those bridges downshift a few times hit it just to hear the exhaust i really do think that if you're daily driving a car like this it'll make your commute a lot more fun you're not just driving like a boring practical car that most people have as daily drivers and uh, you know i just think it's a lot more fun to daily drive a car like this than it would be to drive a practical car for example going back to the whole fuel economy thing i'm not sure of the exact numbers that i've been getting with this car um, i just honestly don't even pay attention to it but it's probably around like 15 something in the city so i mean it's it's not good obviously but it's also not terrible on the highway i've seen as high as like 22 average which i know a lot of people are going to say that's terrible but you know for a 6.4 liter v8 i'd say that's pretty good and this car is tuned so that means it doesn't have the mds the multi-displacement system so it's constantly always running on all eight cylinders it doesn't have that cylinder deactivation where if you're not hard on the throttle it'll put it into four cylinders and only use half the cylinders so this car does not have that anymore like i said because it's tuned so even with that, the fuel economy isn't that terrible in my opinion, and I know some people will disagree with that. So with daily driving, the outside of this car isn't the only part that gets dirty, but the inside gets pretty dirty as well. So as you can see, I know it's not terrible. I've been trying to take good care of this car while daily driving, but as you can see, there's a lot of leaves, rocks, and gravel. Even in places where like you don't step or like don't sit, it still collects like dust and stuff down here. So, I mean, it is difficult to keep this car clean while daily driving, including like the door, like the armrest and stuff. But I mean, you can clean this thing and I definitely need to. But I just wanted to point out, like if you're gonna be daily driving a car, you should be expecting to get it dirty because it will happen no matter how hard you try. Of course, there you can see another shot of the back and you can see how dirty it is. And yes, I know. I'm going to clean this thing as soon as I get a chance. The other part that gets pretty dirty is the trunk jam. As you can see right here, there's this, I don't know what this is, but like dirt, dust, all that stuff. It just gets, it just gets piled up in the jam right here. And if you're parking underneath the tree, then this part will get filled up with a bunch of little leaves. As you can see, I don't know how well you guys can see that, but there's a few leaves stuck behind this thing, as well as on this side. And it's overall just like, really easy for dirt to get stuck inside the jam so yeah i mean if you're parking under a tree then it's going to keep dripping on the car and that won't help either and yeah, this whole backside is probably the worst and then of course up front you have all the bugs that you have to deal with which I don't know how well they're gonna show up on camera here, but it's pretty bad. Yeah, you can see all the bugs. 
Yep, definitely not the cleanest car. Overall, I do enjoy daily driving this car. Um, my only downside, like I said, is just keeping the car clean. Uh, I can't stand having like a dirty car. I don't know why, but it's just like my OCD with this thing. I want to keep it as clean as possible, and it's not possible to do that while daily driving. You'd have to constantly just keep cleaning it after every drive, basically. Especially if you're driving where it's raining, or if you don't have a garage, if you have to park outside. Then that also plays a big role in keeping the car clean, of course. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me just talking about if I think the Dodge Challenger Scat Pack makes a good daily driver. Let me know down in the comments if you guys also daily drive a muscle car or a sports car. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions on this subject. So definitely drop those down below. If you have any questions or other comments, definitely leave those down below as well. If you have any video suggestions for videos you'd like to see in the future, also drop those down in the comments. And hopefully some of these car shows and car meets will start to open back up and we can start getting some more exciting videos out for you guys with some supercars and everything. I'm really looking forward to that. If you like this video or found it entertaining, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.